join kids hat family Yay! I've won again, Tia. Wow, Tofu. You've really become good at this game. Do you want to play one more round with me? The winner gets the loser's share of Mom's special pie. Mom? Tofu, look at the time. We've not completed any of our chores. Oh, don't worry about it, Tia. It's a Sunday. We'll just tell Mom that we forgot. But we remember now. We should do it now. Hmm. Do we have to? Mom won't know. Tofu, are you suggesting that we should lie to Mom? And who will lie to her? That's the worst idea you've ever had, Tofu. And you're talking like the little mouse. Uh, the little who? Belling the cat. That's a story that I want to tell you in this context. Once upon a time, the many mice that lived in his store troubled a grocer. These mice are spoiling everything. Today they pierced holes in the grain bags. Oh dear, what should we do? I don't know. If the villagers find out, they will stop coming to the store and buying things from me. Oh no! What will we do then? Our business will be disrupted entirely. I agree. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't you get a cat for the store? A good strong cat will eat the mice away quickly. And new mice will be afraid to enter the store out of her fear. Hmm, that's a brilliant idea. I will get one first thing tomorrow. The next morning, the grocer went and got a big strong cat for his store. Just as his wife had said, she bounced at the first sight of mice. The mice were taken by surprise. Our brothers have been attacked and eaten up by this cat that the grocer has brought. We all should be careful from now on. As the days passed, The movement of the mice became restricted. They always lived in fear of the cat and were unable to get food and supplies for their families from the store. If any of them ventured out, the cat ate them. This distressed the mice very much. They made many plans to avoid and escape the cat but failed miserably. We are losing out our brothers and sisters to this cat. Something must be done. I have a simple plan, but I am sure it will be successful. We just have to put a bell around the cat's neck. Every time the cat will move, 
We will hear the bell ring first. This will give us enough time to escape her. That's a very good idea. Good thinking, brother. We should arrange a bell immediately. Yes, I agree. This is a very good plan. But I have just one question. Who will bell the cat? Suddenly, there fell a hush over the excited mice because none of them had the answer to the question. None had the courage to risk his own life to bell the cat. And so it remained that the cat was never belled. So you see Tofu? It is one thing to just give out ideas and another to actually go ahead and do as you've said. Yes, dear. I am ashamed of what I suggested. I said it without considering whether it was right or wrong and possible or impossible. Come, let's go and finish off the chores. I am glad you understood that, Tofu. Now let's start with putting away these games. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.